Welcome to Graham Games. My name is Graham. This is a game. Today I'm looking at Tenderfoot Tactics. This menu is kind of messing me up because I, I thought the game opened in a, a windowed mode, but they've windowed the game themselves here in a way that I should have recognized as not being my own computer background. But it creates an interesting feel to things. Right off the bat, I like that. Little interactive elements. I'm just enjoying all that. My understanding is that this game is considered an open-world turn-based RPG in a, in a sense that looked quite unique. I don't know, I, I liked that as a concept, I was sold on that quite quickly, and then on top of that, it looks kind of like a sock pop game, and I really love sock pop, so I couldn't say no. Pascal, look, the tower, perhaps the spirit is within. I just like their the, the minimalist style art. I like this weird little, I don't know, bear, teddy bear person I'm playing as with their little ears. And then also running around with like goblin friends. <laughs> I'm pretty sure what's going on. We have Willow, who is, they're all goblins. Apparently all of them are. Different, different colors, ear shapes, what have you. Pascal and Nettle. So we have uh, all sorts of different skills, training, equipment, things. I'll figure that out after the fact. Right now, I guess. Uh, okay, there's a little bit more to it than just clicking around. I guess I'll learn. I did not expect to need additional navigation tools or anything like that. I'm attempting to do, like, the, the sliding and the jumping that it's talking about, but it, it doesn't work very well. I can't jump while moving. You have to jump and then move. So I don't know if I really get how that's going to be functional or helpful for navigating this world. It's empty. We should wait. The spirit was here recently. They will return. But isn't it dangerous out there with the fog so near? We'll hole up inside. Hopefully the spirit does not take our entrance as a breach of trust. <laughs> but little did you know that reminds me of like a like a cut from Ron Howard in Arrested Development. <laughs> in the dark of night, a bang and a crash reverberating through the tower. The door blown clear off its hinges. The three jumped to their feet. Yeah, but only if they were from a standing position. No jumping and moving. It's <laughs> one action at a time. Groggy, but still armed and ready for battle. Chucks you into it quite quickly, then, doesn't it? Rude. I think I should probably stop and read. <laughs> Who goes next is listed off to the side. The number of turns until you go is also displayed above their head. But because there's one and one on both sides, I'm kind of curious if they'll go at the same time or if it'll go one, one, two, two, something like that. Well, I think we just start and give it a shot. So one, he went first, warriors. Oh, these are the fog. The fog are units. Surely you do not hide from us. Why would you come to gain the strength of a spirit when the strength of the whole fog could be yours? Ah, it's like a, an entire unity thing then. So you can attack, move, wait. You can do them in any order. Wait is quite final. <laughs> ah, ranged character. Not the best choice. That's fine. I could attack up close, or I could anesthetize, but I think I'll just attack. Just kidding, I, I take it back, I'll do the thing that it seems like it'll let me do. Spit right on him. Just, just like that, huh? Rude. Kinda gross. Yeah, gross man, I, I, I don't know why you had to do him like that. It's uh, un uncomfortable for everyone, I think. I would like to move on now. There are natural systems that run their simulations. Soil, water, plant growth, fire. That's kind of interesting. So if something's on fire, it's not just gonna burn in the corner, tiny little flame the whole time. The more the battle advances, maybe a field of grass catches on fire, things like that. That sounds really cool. It gives some information on how that's calculated. It's a little complex. If you wanna get deep into this game, then yeah, I'm sure it would be important. 
different terrain slows you down, moving up and down things also is more difficult. The dawn of an empire is upon you, and this tonight is your chance to become an important individual in the making of the next age. Lay down your weapons. Silence! I know this lie. Such an empire will never bend to the will of its servants. Aspirants to the scale of power will only find themselves tools to it. Ha! From within you will be servants, tools. From without, you will be nothing. Our power is vast far beyond the pitiful little town you hail from. We are only, we are the only future. Come, let us show you. At the end of your turn, you make sure you choose the direction you're facing. That can be important. You can become unnerved without it. I'll hold my nerve, run up, and just do a standard old slash. A grenade also sounds fun, delightful, I'm certain. Didn't expect fog to have a skeleton. Genuinely surprising in, in at least some small way. You just got a little slingshot, jerk. A menace, Dennis-like, they would say. Experience isn't automatic. You have to walk through it and collect it and it also heals you a small amount. Ah, at the end of battle, anything you didn't actively pick up with a specific character pooled and evenly distributed. So there, you don't have to worry about it too hard. You don't have to go super out of your way to go and collect specific things. Uh, I just have to move the tiniest bit. Do I? Do I go and... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll allow it to be distributed across the party. I don't think I'm worried about any one character right now piling piling up. Here's choosing the direction after. Keep your front face in front. <laughs> That's important. That'll go a long way. Oh yeah, making use of that range. Just wait. Just chill. Just, just, just play it cool. Stay calm. And uh, you'll, you'll do just fine. I, I do kind of want to do the grenade. Even though he's clearly nearly dead. Just figured, ah, take him out. Just see what that's all about. And it was worth it. I'll tell you that it was. I did take some form of satisfaction from that. Bloodied and thoroughly roused, the goblins blocked up the door as best they could with what furniture they found nearby. And in a quiet, sustained panic, <laughs> everyone for like an hour straight is just like, oh my god, I'm freaking out. Just like nonstop but you know, never elevating too much. They waited for the fog to come again, but it did not. Many hours passed, and finally, as the sun took its place in the mid-morning sky, they saw the spirit approaching and quickly cleared the door, door and went out to greet them. Oh, my God, it's huge. And just kind of like, there's a lot going on and also very little all at once. I was picturing a little like wisp, not a gargantuan. Oh, great spirit, it is I, Pascal, the one and only. There's only one Pascal, I don't need to be more specific than that. Honor guard of Hork, do you remember me? Ah, uh, yeah, you're pretty good. I remember you, bud. Uh, we go way back. Oh, I do not remember much, little Pascal. Big dummy up here, can't hold on to anything. Uh, you know, elephants, they're big for other reasons. Doesn't have to do with compensating that good memory. I'm afraid I find myself much diminished, today at least, and perhaps yesterday as well. Surely tomorrow. Spirit, we three come to be of service to you, to join with you, in exchange for the gift of your magic, that we be made stronger by your grace. I am very weak and can offer you little just now. It may be some time until I can return you to your homes, but if you would stay with me, I would be grateful for the help. You're just looking for some roomies? We were looking for magic. I don't know if like a shared dining space is really something we were signing up for or, or in search of. And so they did stay. That's a great sitcom. Three goblins and a giant ghost. But their presence seemed only to diminish the spirit further, and the spurts of self that came through were not so clear at all. What did come through turned them always westward. They didn't fully understand why. 
Is it, are these the lyrics to The Way by Fastball? <laughs> but they knew that they needed to make a trip. And they felt that they might not return. <laughs> Go to Eternal Summer Slacking? Where were they going without ever knowing the way? But they made up their minds and they got to talking. If we, we, we gained a, a goblin. Unless Nyx is the spirit dressed up as a goblin. How did that work? Why do we have that? So I have no skill points to spend. Once they've leveled up, you'll have some of that. There's individual equipment to worry about. It doesn't look so much like armor as it is just having a few specific items that could help. But there is a very fun seeming branching system of like an insane amount of different characters. Which is one of my favorite parts of Fire Emblem. Branching out your different character classes. But there's like a lot going on here. Crazy variation there. I'm very curious what all that would be and you can change the look of your guys There's a lot of customization options in this game. I think that's nice to include Great, thank you. Thank you for the the, the tips. Hmm maybe Maybe the joystick being connected is part of why That works better. That's how that's meant to work. <laughs> I guess I'm swap swapping to a controller then. Probably if I didn't have it plugged in, that jumping would work better. Oh yeah, the doodle of a map doesn't do a ton for me. Home, where we'll regroup if we get separated. That's possible? That's very interesting to me. I, I would be like genuinely quite curious to see if uh, that, that would be characters fainting. Or if it would be, we'd lost... Nix. So yeah, I guess people get separated sometimes. Do you not? Did you not plan on sticking with the group? That was a temporary. You were just hanging back. No, I must have actually gotten lost, or he did. I will blame him. I don't think I need to take my own navigation in, into question at all. I have no. I've. I, I truly don't understand if I <laughs> had any control there of taking this guy with me or not seemed like it just kind of happened the game's telling me i do so i assume i do i just don't know how to do it properly mm, yum 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 rosemary oh better go get that blue bl blueberry now too <laughs> everyone's getting left behind you guys would be terrible at tag am i seeing this entirely because i have nicks with me oh god i'm getting fogged I tried to run straight through it, not how it works. Initiated combat. Ah, uh, yeah. Camera movement, that's uh, that's an easy one. Now I gotta learn how to do everything with the controller, though. <laughs> this, there's a lot. There's a lot of people participating in this battle, and it makes me uh, a little concerned for our, our little friend who we picked up. He's not battle-tested. I, I don't know what he's capable of. I kind of worry... It's not a whole lot of anything. Ooh, got to apply a little bit of unnerve. And it, it, that's maybe what pushed him further down in the turn order. That would make sense. I think he's just like a, a little bit wigged out. He started taking part in a battle and then he got attacked from the side and somehow that was unexpected to him. Yeah, it's going to wig you out a little bit, I, I, I would think. <laughs> Grenade is tempting. I will choose to not. See, they got unnerved. Hmm, perhaps not exactly what that does. Am I just gonna die? Please tell me. Okay. Yes, please, 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 please. First aid. And please tell me you can do it from up high. <laughs> I have a regular attack? No, no, I don't want that. I want to live. Oh, I just experienced the plants all growing around me terrain's totally different hopefully i'm harder to hit now maybe something could could prove useful being completely inaccessibly far away from everything less useful than you would think you can chop the grass a little just a little bit maybe it's getting a little too long just uh offer up some quick mowing services i think i 
have to move. I don't want to leave them totally on their own. I think I should still be able to attack from down here, though. Not, not who I'm planned to or, or meant to, so truly that didn't work out. Damn it. I would unnerve them, so I think I better do it. Unnerving seems good, even when I only understand it a little bit. <laughs> I'll commit wholeheartedly. I don't want all of those on screen. Didn't know how to get rid of them otherwise. This feels a, a little bad. Where I'm at, how things are coming together. So I plan to be rather careful. <laughs> Take the easy kills, the ones that I, I know for certain that I can get. And hopefully you guys kind of continue splitting up who you choose to attack. Now nah, immediately focus fired. That was the exact thing I was asking you not to do. I was so specific. What up with that guy in the back there? Oh, oh, it might only be his turn now. That seems to be why it's taking him so long to get into things. I should have turned to face the direction he was coming from, knowing he was coming next. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Crap. Is is my number one thought. <laughs> I uh, I've been kind of uh, lax about things because it it seemed like uh, it's an early battle, but I did kind of just run into the middle of some like some major shit. And so there's a, a pretty good chance that I wandered. Nah, it couldn't be an area I'm not meant to go to yet. I, I couldn't believe that. Because that would be absurd. Right? To, have, to like, have somewhere I can't go that near everything. Oh, that's very disappointing that they didn't die. But, nope. Can't even do the grenade. Not... On who I planned to. Grenade back on the table, boys. That's the thing goblins say, right? That's like a common way of mapping out a, a phrase for them. Ah, shit. I would like to be as careful as I can and not die already. If it's a if it's an option that's the it's the main thing I'm thinking here's what I was trying to build towards I will take out one only with that I was hoping that would be enough damage to take out two I'm gonna go run into a bush because I hope that means I'm harder to hit or kill uh, missing though right people miss in this game sometimes 100% hit rates all around. I think I will flee because I don't appreciate what the penalties for that may be. <laughs> Wait, just by holding the rosemary, you would have more health. Oh. Well, I would say that's a good reason to go gather up some yummy twigs. I don't quite understand the map. I think I'm over on that far left-hand side, but I kind of don't even really know. Now I want to steer clear of the fog. Now that I understand that that dark zone is the fog, that that's distinctly marking something, maybe I just go gather up as many tasty things as I can. Yummy, yummy. Oh, okay, well, didn't last long running into their territory. Hopefully I can just go wide of everything. What are those? Why are there doors there? This is something I would like to know. Hey, I made it through. Do I? Nettle, Nettle is satisfied. They loved it. That was a, a good for them. I, it feels kind of like a mistake to go into whatever this is. I don't know. I don't know what it is yet. Could, could prove dangerous. I think I'm going to go collect some more, like, 
fun fruits and flowers first before I... Until I know better maybe what I'm taking on or risking. Ah! Oh, no, no, no. The day turned into night or whatever, and I had, like, a different part of the hill was suddenly changed, and now I'm getting chased by a lot of things, and I maybe... Maybe now I'm luring in other things to take part in this battle. Suckers, begin encounter. Is this... Yeah, there's the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's very unclear to me if I'm now fighting in a battle directly outside the door or if I started the door <laughs> encounter. We'll just... Uh, we'll hope it's the one that's more beneficial to me. That's going to be the... The main thing I'm concerned with. Now, I, I don't have a strategy. I'll admit that. Kind of planning to hunker down a little bit. Maybe if I hang back, keep out of trouble, uh, I'll, I'll be fine. They'll leave me alone. I just need to put out good vibes that I'm, I'm not here. What? I'm not a fighter. I'm just an inspector of doorways. Have we not all been curious about random doors at some point or another? I really didn't think he'd be able to shoot through that tree. It's a big, it's a full tree. It's not even a stump. Who, what, what deadly range that apparently is. Oh, that's such bull. Like, I think I'm seeing that he would not die. That makes me... It feels wasteful. I should save it for someone who... Is more likely to kill them? Ah, he gets to go again. No, after two other characters. He'll... He'll be fine. I'll worry about killing other things. Right back at ya. Jerk. <laughs> That's what I think of your shit. Only a one ranger, hey? Wow, that sure is limiting <laughs> in what I could do. I wish you had some sort of first aid to be able to give. That sure would help. Oh, but, oh you're kidding me. There we go. The required range on the cross on the on the bow regular bow is very very difficult to work with no oh, you suck i was gonna grenade you and it was gonna be awesome and i was gonna grenade like a couple things and potentially kill two of them big plans all spoiled he's a long ways for having another turn i should try and kill these guys near enough it at least yeah, like that. Why did you turn into... Why did you turn into a regular goblin? Did I kill a regular goblin and not even realize that's what I was doing? I'm sick. How did I, how did I not know I was hurting one of my own? This is, uh, this is devastating to me. I can't believe it's come to this. Goblin on goblin action. Terrible. Hmm. See, be it attacking him made him face that direction. So you can kind of, you could tag team. Man, I gotta be more careful about the things that come out of my mouth. Careful, Graham. <laughs> I feel like there's a, a perfect version of this right now that I really, really need to pull together. Ooh. Heal yourself. It's important that you stay alive considering you're capable of healing. Trying to move out of the guys, out of range of the guys sneaking up behind. Shit. I can't I can't get anywhere more helpful even. Focus efforts directly in front. I don't even think that I'll be able to do it with Willow. Where can I put you where you can hit anyone? Oh my goodness, there we go. 
I could use the their like spitting spell. I figured that was probably a little more reliable in this scenario. Yeah, that was bad. Ooh. I don't think I could kill anyone with this grenade. They'll both have turns. But now, now they're each one hit away, like no matter what. And that will be good. I'm gonna move you on top of your buddy. You'll get the experience, it'll heal you a little bit. It won't heal you enough. <laughs> huh. I don't know if that was a glitch or not, that it didn't turn into a skeleton, that it turned into a goblin instead. Or dropping like flies. Sh shit. <laughs> I'm going to take the high ground. Then you guys can't stop me, surely. And, and finishing blow from down here. Because I assume you can't miss. Now, after this battle, am I going to have to run all the way back to our home in order to recover everyone? That was kind of my interpretation of what I've read. This music is quite unique. It's like fluty, but also I think it's someone singing. It's uh there's a lot going on there. I think I dig it. It's it's very unique. I don't I could not compare this to another soundtrack, I don't think. And I honestly think that counts for a lot to just uh, do something new. So I'd like to give credit to that. I think the simple colors and UI and everything work well. Found a few different things. I'm going to read the shorter ones first. An acorn, glossy and hard, can be used to dye fabrics a very dark brown. And, I don't know if you hold it, if it would actually affect the color of what you're wearing. But it also adds health. Rough round stone, uncommonly found, but otherwise unremarkable. Is it? Is it uncommon, but also unremarkable? I don't really understand how it's both. And it's rough and it's round. What is this oxymoronic stone and what does it do? Might be some hoarder would find value in it. Specific. Very spe There's some character maybe or something who will trade for it. And the glass chit. <laughs> what a fun word to say. Feel like you're getting away with something bad. Smooth wedge of blue glass with a clear stylized portrait of a boar. These chits track debt. But many a pilgrim will insist that they used to mark noble births. The goblins sharing this obscure knowledge also happen to descend from a noble bloodline themselves. Damage boost, tons of health. Like, holy crap, Hork thanks you. Uh, better reputation and population. One gob was added. They, one goblin lost from Hork can finally return home. What? So that was the other encounter. I didn't even I didn't even actually do this. Endless waves until until I'm I'm dead? Until all my guys are dead, I'm guessing is what's going on here. Ah uh, what are all the, the like status effects or whatever that are hovering over their heads? That's I'll say concerning. Try our best. I guess we're just hopping into the water. I don't want to. I feel like it's not my territory. Goblins hate water. Everyone knows that. Cats and goblins. Ooh. Just all on everyone? Oh. It's not water, is it? It's like fog. That was cool, though. Ice magic. I dig it. It's neat. Um... Do I? I think it uh, froze up on me. Like the, the, just stopped advancing. Gorgon, what the heck, bud? Couldn't finish your name, clearly was meant to be Gorgonzola. Couldn't finish his spell, couldn't finish his, his, his turn. Guy's a real chump. I don't know who put him in charge. I'll retry the encounter. My choice is now to wait. And have them come to me. All of them are Gorkins. It's not just the one guy's name. 
the whatever the poison feels like their territory i don't really want to get in, into it the spitting makes you turn around that's pretty brutal actually it does damage and turns you around and this encounter is bugged if i'm supposed to do something here it's, it doesn't make any sense to me well i attempted to flee and that broke as well i reloaded and then i fleed i, I guess i at least can exit that encounter but that very strongly means I can't recommend the game currently. Something is clearly amiss here. God, these poor guys with their tender feet being made to run around through all this wilderness, stepping on pointy rocks and branches left and right. Just get some shoes, guys. All right, now, now I like truly don't know what, what to do. <laughs> I... Guess I just run around and keep collecting plants. Pascal's getting the glass chit because I commonly kind of throw them right into the midst of things. Want them to deal out the damage and kind of be a little bit of a, a sponge. I'd like to level up someone and see how that plays out as well. It's funny to hear chickadees. I guess people don't really like invent new birds specifically for games. And so you end up just hearing things you, you already know of. Damn it, I was really trying to bust out our equipment. Oh, and then I was spamming buttons a little bit there and, and accidentally initiated the combat. I'll be fine. I'll I'll live. Hopefully. <laughs> I, have a, I have a lot to suddenly fight my way out of. And uh, nowhere really to run. Apparently I'm quite cornered. And very limited in who I can actually attack. Dang. That's... Uh, quite concerning to me. Just feel like you t t to not have options. I should have. I have not bothered at all with like deciding where my characters are gonna stand or start, where their their like battle order dispensing will be. Haven't bothered. Clearly, it's important because now the character that I kind of want front and center is trapped way off to the side. And he's dead. He's gonna die. And that's uh, directly my fault. <laughs> In a way that I don't think I could actually defend. Whoops. Sorry. Is all I can really think to offer up. I'll, tr I'll try to do better next time. <laughs> the game is not very forgiving. I guess they, they did a good job of like boiling down the battles to be quite simple uh it, just a few exchanges of attacks is like the main thing <laughs> um i am sorry waiting right now feels so stupid and so wasteful i'm gonna make you attack this just because <laughs> i don't know what else to do with you son of a bitch at least you couldn't attack willow but I don't know if Willow, I, I could still do this. Minus 10 right now applies numb for 720 ticks plus 12 max health reduces the effect of unnerved by two. Oh, so it's a good thing that you do to your allies. And it was a mistake <laughs> to use against the enemy, perhaps. Gotcha. Understood. Wish I learned that lesson sooner. Yes, I, I understand the experience. I understand it, have not made use of it. Two different things. Really, really rough terrain over here. And so I'm actually just going to move to where I can hopefully get healed. Can't, can't throw the grenade far enough. And I don't know if I can get my healer. Oh, ranged attacks. Of course. Shh. Should have uh, ran and fought back then, I think, maybe would have been the better better strategy for me. I'm just getting b beat up so hard. I have no, there's no other words for it. It's, uh, it's going poorly. I, I've, I guess, what am I doing? Flee. It's just like not gonna happen. <laughs> Fully flee, commit to fleeing, and back. Again. Again, again, again. Maybe someday, 
I'll see more of the game. I don't know if you guys were excited for that prospect. I thought maybe you'd want to see the starting area like nine times. That's important to me. And the integrity of the videos I make on this channel is that they're as repetitive as possible. Oh, here's the sliding if you ever need to run away from anything. It's quite fun. I'm trying to just, oh, they're faster than me, aren't they? Not if I do that, suckers. I'm specifically just trying to run to grab things to get, gather the experience that goes along with it. And maybe if I just continually do this, maybe this is how I'll level up instead. Ah, uh, an encounter had to start sooner or later. Maybe I'll actually attempt to place characters this time in a, in a meaningful way. Except for the fact that everyone's pretty much, pretty much where I would want them. Healer in the back. That's swords in the front, Archer. There we go. That's um, the sort of minimal effort I should be putting in. So it was at least something. Oh. Hmm. Maybe I should have thought harder of where I could have placed someone to, to have more options for targets. It'll be fine. Still got to hit something. This is very hobby. It would be nice if you could retaliate. I feel like there's lots of games like this where retaliation is kind of built in in some way. If at least one character type had it, maybe they will and I still just haven't unlocked the right type. But I kind of hope that with the very few upgrades I've made to what my characters are holding and recognizing that healing constantly is like potentially the most important thing I could be doing with my turn, uh, maybe maybe I actually stand a chance. Could could hopefully potentially survive a second encounter. Wouldn't that be dandy out of like ten? I do like watching them hop around. The plants growing and everything is neat. I'm sure it'll be more cool in different environments. Right now, the grass growing is less interesting than I'm sure a roaring fire <laughs> that's all consuming and burning down everything around you. But just conceptually, generally, broadly, still cool regardless. Hey, first level up from any character. Running through the experience there. They weren't hurt, so I wouldn't have gained any benefit there. I think the first level you can upgrade or evolve your goblin is level four. And so they, they would only be two or three right now, so still not something to take advantage of, advantage of just yet. Then now we're cruising. Turns out just where you place your goblin. Biggest decision of the whole game. <laughs> Getting even more level ups. You guys... I'm, I'm getting stronger right in front of your very eyes mid-battle. How's that for unnerving? Forget a, a noise that happens beside you that you can't immediately place its origin. You're just like watching my muscles swell. Yeah, I, 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 I feel outmatched for, for certain. Oh, barely. <laughs> I can barely make an attack with that. All right, slingshot. I'm gonna need you to carry part of the team here. Not fully, because I don't really believe in you and I don't want to put that much weight in your abilities. But just like a little bit, just enough to hopefully carry us through what might otherwise be a, a little bit of a difficult patch right here. Yeah, if you could chuck a quick attack down from on high. Perfection, buddy. That was exactly what I wanted. I'll stop patronizing you. That was great. You really showed up when I needed you most. That's uh, that's all I can ask of a goblin. Sh show up. That's the half half the battle. Dang, can't actually finish it off. Would have been too perfect, too flawless, pre-planned, like I had played it before, and I'm only just recording it now with with all of it set up in a preconceived, contrived way to make myself look cool. 
No, there was way too many screw-ups earlier for that to re remotely be believable. More stone, flat wide stone, a perfect skipping stone. So cool. I found rocks and other rocks. That's some haul there, boys. Is everyone's everyone's happy with that, are they? I I okay, now now I'll actually have skill points to spend. So that'll be cool as well. He already has attack, he already has grenade. Okay, so these other things are upgrading those, which I think this one costs two skill points, so I couldn't. First aid, a song, which heals a bunch of people for less. Double damage from behind, ooh, strangle. He's not really a thief though or anything. Opportunist passive when an enemy moves out of an adjacent tile, this unit takes a free attack. Yeah, I kind of put Pascal right into the midst of things, so having that makes sense for him. You currently can only attack. No other interesting skills, hey? I say we I teach you to, to strangle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll do... It always does at least 35 from behind. 70. Strong, seems good, useful. I'll take it. I, hey, hi. Oh, great spirit, please take me with you. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll claim, claim them. Didn't realize they could, you could just lay claim so easily. You're ours now. I'm, you're, and you're cool with that. Fair enough. I don't think we're marked on the map. Can we swim? There's a lesson that could be learned. Just... Oh! Well! That's cool, and not at all expected. <laughs> I think that's really very neat. What if I just keep pirate boating around? It seems like there's some cool stuff out there. I'm going to go to whatever the things are that are standing up in a weird way that looks super unnatural. And hope that there aren't pirates out sailing around. But I kind of hope there are pirates. But how fascinating is that weird shaped rock that I didn't think I would have the ability to make it to. So suddenly, the way the world was being drawn in front of me messed with my mind. That looks so crazy. <laughs> I'm also, I don't know if enemy encounters just like scale up with where you are. Oh God, everything is dark. The thing that I'm specifically trying to get to, I will never find it like this. And now I'm very concerned that I'm in like a more difficult area. You can just kind of see that the enemy types look much more decked out than they did before. The entire environment is like different as well. All right, let's let's put on a show here. In the sense that I, I'm 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 going out with a bang. I'm gonna attempt to, just like win, win this battle. Here and now. This seems as good as it's gonna get. I'm, I'm scared they're going to have, like, wizards and things that I can't deal with. <laughs> At least I can attack one thing. I didn't want to screw that up. Wait, was that a hundred and some health? 125? Ah. Having a little bit of a freak out, it seems. We could put an end to that, maybe, before it becomes a problem. I think that's notably more health, though. I think I'm going to get dummied. I don't think I was supposed to leave my area so quickly. Oh, open world concept is cool. But it also means I'm, like, dramatically, dramatically directionless moving through this game right now. I, I kind of had a goal, but not really. I didn't mean to do that. He wasn't hurt. That was a waste. That was a sick, sick slap. It's pretty good, man. 
should be able to. F I w is uh, their health is as low as I think it is. Yes, like one left sort of thing. Perfect. Oh yeah, that was the one I shot as a ranger already. What can I do now that I've set myself up so poorly? I think I need to focus on the things that are more killable. My my initial target there does not qualify. I'm going to hang back, even though I'm so screwed. That's too many things. Not everything is allowed to get involved at once like that, okay? Wow. The opportunity attack thing is amazing already. That sucks, though. That's not good at all. Hmm. If I use you right, there's, I could take out something here. I should, yeah, you're more, you're, you're definably more killable, I think. Pascal, my dude, I cannot believe how insanely strong that is and how much advantage you're taking of it. Why, every, Every character you level up, the first thing you should do is give them opportunity attacks. Are you kidding me? It's like the number one thing. He, it, it means I got to attack twice as often as I would have uh, otherwise. What a joke. Run, go ahead. Go go run right at him. Oh, it's Pascal's turn. <laughs> You're in. Now. They moved away from my, my grenading range. That's a shame. Oh, yeah. You could heal a little bit. Well, there was two. There was two dead on there, so Pascal's getting getting bonuses out of that. Maybe excessive. Maybe the character doesn't need need everything. Ooh, yes. Can I? Hmm. Dang, I can't actually make it around anyone. Using strangle just seemed fun. I thought I would enjoy it. Maybe they'd enjoy it too. You never know. People people have their own little kinks. Could have got something out of it. That didn't get an opportunity attack, but I guess that was him moving right up to me, not past me. That was past me. And so I think that is like an observable difference. And it, you know, it like makes sense. Yeah, no thanks. I don't think you you get another turn. That would be very bad. For all of us. Pardon pardon me while I go stand somewhere where I could hopefully attack from. Sh shit. Can you do anything here? That's... That sucks. Well. Oh, 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 oh. From here, I can attack them at least. Something contributing. Not a total waste. That's that's where I'm setting the bar, apparently. Hmm. Here's my thoughts. I'll heal a little bit. I realize he's really, really taking all the experience, but then they're dead. See, okay, they turned back into a like a not skeleton, and I was hoping that they would move, get the opportunity attack, and now we're all groovy. I feel like I learned like two quick tricks setting up your guys ahead of time, opportunity attacks, making better use of a healer would have made a difference. But I think those very quickly made a difference in how I was doing in battles. And so maybe, maybe it doesn't matter so much about going out of your, your starting area. I'm curious about different little things that are going on that are, that are informing my next step, perhaps, a dreadful power lies ahead, specifically for Pascal. So I would have to start this event. Multi-stage combat, one out of two. Would I have to live through both? Did I, do I have my full arsenal, my full team? I only get three of them. That's devastating. That's... Ooh, this could be tricky. All right, I'll give this a shot. 
I I mean I guess I guess I'll just start with the three that it started me with because I'm I have my healer my archer and my main man because Pascal <laughs> Pascal kind of earned that title that uh, rank at some point there he kind of just started doing everything for me and so I'd hate to uh, deny <laughs> deny him the credit he's uh, clearly due at this stage perhaps he even finish this one off here great work my, my, my boy <laughs> just stick with that shit that was not good oh, well there goes my healer that didn't last long at all shit it's so hard to protect and there's so little else I actually could have done and I'm not getting any opportunity attacks off this which is really bumming me out It just felt worth it to be able to hurt both of them. I hope. I hope it was a good call. Maybe I should have went in the bush. I think it provides, like, cover and things. Wow. Oh, that was a so-so turn. I don't know. I don't really see a scenario where I survive this battle. No. Splashed him with water or something. Shit, it sounded like a pop can opening. Might have just been their sp spleen opening. I think, uh... I was never gonna kill the other one. It always makes sense to target the one who's, like, next in the turn orders first. Oh, I can't believe that opportunity attack didn't do it. Damn it. That's gotta be it, then. Oh, yet more healing, eh? Well, I'm moving to you. Get some experience. Wasn't even thinking about that. Mostly just thinking, kill the thing that heals. Opportunity attack? No. Got snuck up on. Far worse. And... Oh, that was lucky, though. You idiot, if you would have just attacked right from where you were standing, probably would have been fine. Pascal! Pascal! Simple chain, tightly woven links, mostly of copper, made up this common good. Even middling traders are often weighed down with such chains wrapped multiply around their multi multiply multiply around their neck, arms, and ankles. Lots of health, uh, horseradish for health and damage, petrified wood. You know, a hunk of wood that is petrified. Not a lot of stuff that seemed overly greatly useful not carrying forward with the characters I had or with the level of hurt that they were. I really assumed that would have been pretty well the point of that. I think that that thing down there is a spellcaster again. <laughs> and so I'm going to try and just bum rush them, I think. Alright, well, like, that kind of interrupts my plan a little bit. I wanted you to stay out of it. Weren't invited. But I, I do not want to have to deal with that thing healing everything. It'll take everyone, hopefully, a couple turns or whatever to make it over here. You just watered the ground to grow grass, yes? That was what that turn was for? And you're proud of this? This was a, a good use of your your energy? I'll, I'll give it to you. Like, if you feel good about it, that's great. But I I don't think you should feel good about it. Maybe you... Nah, some of them turn into skeletons. Absolutely. They, they do. They have. But maybe those are the basic, most basic goblin. And any, anything else leaves behind a, a slightly more unique corpse. I don't know why I'm getting caught up on this Sp random insignificant detail. But the fact that I feel like it has never felt answered also means it now needs to remain clogged up into my brain. And that's just the way it is. I wish I could choose a different path. Can I if I d do different buttons? Because I don't want to walk through the experience. But it's making me 
because I do want other people at some point to gain experience. It's fun in a way that Pascal's getting so loaded down. We gotta share some of that love. See, there, 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 there they come. Oh, can you not go around? You can't go around. You have to go up the two different sides of this. That's very funny for me. I, I enjoy <laughs> the way my, my little strategy kind of played out. Yeah, I think it was, uh, I think it was the right call. <laughs> now I wish I had nothing but archers to just start picking people off. Enjoyable. That's a hell of a jump. Dad, didn't mean to face that direction. Don't know if it matters. Truly. Show me what you got. What, what can you possibly do? Bring it on. Bring it on, I say. Oh. Hmm. A little bit of a surprise attack opportunity when you're going based on the top there, I, I see. What is your other... Grenade. Yeah, I don't really think you should be grenading. I will if I have to. But, you know, I, I take no pleasure in it. None. I, I insist. Uh, <laughs> there's no way to do it without hurting my teammate. Damn it. I don't think it's worth it then. Uh, you're so difficult to to shoot things with. Hmm. Wish you guys could have went in the opposite turn order. Would have, would have helped me quite a lot. Sure, we'll pull through. I think Slingshot's probably not going to make it. Just thinking that's how it's going to go. Hmm. Didn't matter. I was uh, seemingly pretty well guaranteed never gonna happen I don't want to go that way just attack just attack from up there I don't want to run through the experience it's it's kind of annoying to like change your turn in such a specific way for something so goofy elven flute a modest flute that produces an enchanting sound the flute is a theatrical prop that accompanies a blind old stranger a disgusting creature finds they're just blind they're not a disgusting creature holy cow game finds the stranger's music enchanting and in turn the stranger is the only person to offer the creature any kindness lots of damage and health ragged medallion Modeled gray disc with a striking portrait of a bird supposedly made to commemorate the first mass shape shift of the Age of Fairy. The hobgoblins of Lambert Graben took flight in the shape of local Katingas, kingfishers, vultures, storks, and macaws. This is a thing that's happened a few times? Things on mass get turned into other things? Uh, sure. We could camp. We could rest here. Does that mean we've now established a base of some kind? We have. That is interesting to me. And I got to gain extra experience specifically for doing that, right? And now Pascal is level four. And so I think he can technically be evolved. Right now he is a goblin. I could make him into an archer or a knight. I would probably do the knight. Woods Witch sounds cool. That's the thing that was casting a bunch of spells at me. And so, yeah, if I have this choice, an extra 50 health, that's crazy. Good for blocking narrow passages, natural leaders whose words inspire and demoralize. That was very easy and seeming, presumably I can swap that at like any time. Let's, let's give him a quick groom. I'll accept the name. I'm not concerned about the name, really. Just seeing some of the different options for, like, what portions you could change. Mostly the hat. Apparently not much not much more than the hat. So maybe not the most exciting thing. Oh, an entirely new set of skills, though. There's no opportunity attack anymore. That was crazy useful. Don't know what memories are. Oh, you can carry something forward. 
And so, I'm definitely carrying forward opportunist. That's cool. That's very neat. Now the branching options you choose for classing up your character and how much you invest in their class before evolving them, you can make some really specific custom character types. That is all neat. The battle stuff, straightforward. The evolving your character is very damn cool. A lot of it is neat. I did encounter, you know, a few little errors. And I also just kind of like, it's open world to the point of not really knowing what I'm doing. I'm just kind of running around from one battle to the next. The map feels infinitely large in some way. What the shit? Okay, I guess maybe you're just meant to go looking for more big spirits. I do want to know what happens if I run up to this thing. <laughs> Me meow. I can say that's not what I expected. Meow. Leave me alone. Begin encounter. Can I fight this thing? You can fight everything, and he just chills in the background. I was just curious. Once he took it that extra little minute longer, just to just to test out. I don't know what would happen. Uh, what kind of things you would earn for defeating this encounter? That's a lot of time spent with the game. I think it's a healthy look at what it has to offer. I'll have a link down below if anyone's curious for themselves. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.